see dry ammonia like if we talk about dry ammonia that means the ammonia which do not contain any moisture so it is neither acidic nor basic or we can say it is neutral in nature i'm talking about dry ammonia keep in mind i'm not talking about the moist ammonia or i'm not uh, talking about the ammonia solution i'm just talking about the dry ammonia so if you have dry ammonia and you just uh, you can say a pour a litmus solution on it so nothing is going to happen because dry ammonia is neutral in nature but you'll be curious to know or you'll be surprised to know that the ammonia actually has a, a great solubility in water so what happens when ammonia react with water it uh, this thing form ammonium hydroxide which is which is a weak base as you can see it has hydroxide ion so obviously it means that uh, it, uh, any substance when dissolved in water or any substance which contain the hydroxide ion is just regarded as a base right so as you can see that the ammonia carries this hydroxide ion so that means it is a base now the question is that it is a strong base or a weak base right means uh, this means that it is uh, is it capable of giving all its hydroxide ions or uh, it just partially dissociates so you will be uh, this thing it will be good for you to know that it is a weak base right it though it decompose into the uh, you can say it dissociate to form ammonium ion and hydroxide ion but not completely partially so we regard it as a weak base but uh, as far as the solubility of ammonia is concerned so you should know it is highly soluble in water this i am just going to explain you it the solubility of ammonia on the basis of fountain experiment right so i have a uh, this in the apparatus here what is he, what is here we have a round bottom flask as you can see it has a got a rubber stopper and here are two holes one is for the uh, dropper and the other is a jet pipe which is just going into a beaker which contain the solution uh, that means uh, you can say that here we have a universal indicator so i am just telling you that what we are using here we are uh, actually using here the uh, this thing the red litmus solution right so we have red litmus solution we have the dropper here and we have a round bottom flask now uh, listen to me carefully how we can explain the solubility of ammonia in water so what we do we just uh, you can say press this dropper that means some amount of water just goes into it uh, the round bottom flask so when this uh, water from the dropper just goes into the uh, this thing the round bottom flask so as i told you ammonia has the greater solubility so ammonia is just dissolve in water and give rise to the ammonium hydroxide right so that means when uh, the ammonia which is present in the round bottom flask gets converted into the ammonium hydroxide not completely but some part uh, if we say gets converted into the ammonium hydroxide that means the pressure in side the round bottom flask is just going to fall because there is no more uh, ammonia uh, left uh, in the form of gas it is now converted to into form ammonium hydroxide so what it will do it will just lower the pressure inside the round bottom flask but outside that atmospheric pressure is the same that means the higher if we compare it from the inside and outside so that higher atmospheric pressure is just going to force this uh, the uh, red litmus solution to rise up and as the you can say the pressure just as the atmosphere pressure is high so it uh, the uh, this thing the solution the red litmus solution rises up with the greater force and emerge out as a blue fountain in the round bottom flask just indicating that yes the ammonia is being converted into the ammonium hydroxide and the nature of ammonium hydroxide is thoroughly basic that is why it converts the red litmus into blue this i'll just show you as these figures we are unable to see proper coloring so we see that this color of uh, you can say this fountain is uh, Uh, actually made uh, when the red litmus solution is just pulled from the uh, beaker with a great force and it emerges out to form a blue color fountain so this is how actually you can explain the solubility of ammonia in water and also you can we just prove that what is its nature because it uh, it has turned the red litmus blue or you can say red solution uh, red litmus solution to blue solution so this just indicates that it is a characteristic property of base so obviously ammonia is a base not ammonia i must say it is the ammonium hydroxide otherwise dry ammonia is neutral but whenever you have a wet ammonia or you have ammonia ammonical solution or anywhere when ammonia is present with the water right so it is it will just behave as a base that is just indicated by the change in the color of the litmus